the show. Is that cell phone tower above your house putting you at risk of cancer? Specifically for people who are living close to the cell tower. It's the whole body which is absorbing microwave radiation. How to make your breakfast healthy. I'm going to show you two simple recipes of making healthy breakfast. And learn how to get those the flat abs. immediately. Can you feel them? Well, in today's world, technology and mankind are absolutely inseparable. Now, remember the feeling of complete loss when you've accidentally left your cell phone at home. Now, the dependence of human beings on cell phone and the harmful effects of its radiation on us are increasingly being debated. So here are Thridip Mandal and Urmi Sahani separating myths from reality. Not just my phone, this is also my camera. This is the only way I can keep in touch with my friends. All my music's in my phone. Everything that I need, I just carried here. I don't need to come to a movie theater to watch a movie. I can see it on my cell phone. Okay, bye Urmi, I'll get back to you. Bye. For the past few weeks, I have been constantly on my mobile phone. Just to find out the answer to one basic question, is my mobile phone safe? Meanwhile in Mumbai, cell addict Urmi has started to think that her cell phone is doing things to her. Thanks Tridip, but I am no cell addict. But because of you, I am beginning to get a little suspicious about my cell phone. So the million dollar question is, are cell phones really a threat? The obvious place to begin is the internet. For the past eight years, my cell phone has been my constant companion. Scary as these studies are, I need to get the real facts. But I don't believe everything the internet says. Time to look for more. I'm here to meet Professor Girish Kumar, who's actually invented a radiation meter that can tell me how my innocent little instrument can actually be a risk or even a hazard to my health. Hi, sir. I'm Girish Kumar. Yeah, I'm Urmi and this is my phone. Let's get started. Sure. Yeah, come to the lab. Uh, what we really have here... The professor tells me the problem lies with how cell phones work. Plus five. So you are dialing me, right? So you can see that the levels have gone up very high. You've seen EMR flashed all over your cell phone user manual. It is basically a form of radio frequency. This radio frequency is emitted from the antenna of the phone, which is placed near the ear. If you're talking for more than 20 minutes on your cell phone, the EMR raises the ear lobe and brain temperature by up to 2 degrees. It is also penetrating the brain, skull, and it is heating the, the brain tissues inside there. Prolonged use of this one can actually lead to, uh, say, brain tumor, it could be cancer. And in fact, a lot of people are reporting, depending upon where is the antenna. So suppose if antenna is here, instead of having a brain cancer, you may be having a throat cancer also. A lot of this is backed by solid research. For example, a study done by MIT's Electromagnetic Academy says cell phones also interfere with one's sleep patterns. Time for me to get some answers. I decided to meet a sleep specialist who suggested a sleep test. If you are interested, we can monitor you for one night. At the sleep lab, I was wired up. And my phone was buzzing more than usual. Yeah, hello? What time is it, man? One, it could be just the direct call itself which wakes you up. Yeah. Second, whether there are these disturbances of certain waves which are causing disturbance, we don't know. That there is a delayed sleep onset, fragmented sleep, disrupted sleep. People get, feeling, get up feeling more tired in the mm. morning, may okay. complain of some headache. 